Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Thanksgiving right around the corner. Black Friday sales getting ready to happen. I know you've seen some channels that have already talked about some of the Black Friday sales taking place, but today I thought I would share with you some of the Black Friday sales going on at Lowe's in my neck of the woods. So we're going to end up diving on into this video roll. I might walk through the store a bit fast. Look, if you see something that you like or you're curious, pause it during that section. Today we're going to be trying out some of this Elysian Bifrost Winter Ale. Not sure how what it tastes like, never had one before. So curiosity had me. Let's see what it tastes like. Woo! Mmm. Oh yeah. That's like drinking a Christmas tree. <laughs> that has got a lot of hop to it. That being said, let's hop on over to those sales and see what's going on at Lowe's. All right, kicking it off with some mechanic sets. Look, these things can be great just for a quick grab and go. If you're going to like a pick and pull or some kind of auto wrecking yard, the little tinier sets like the quarter inch with the hex driver bits and so forth will be nice for like the wife for like a stocking stuffer so she's not grabbing your stuff. Tape measures, they had other mechanic sets that had more pieces, they had mechanic sets that had less pieces. They had combination wrench sets and SAE and metric, and it seems like they covered most of the sizes with no skips. I myself have actually been pretty impressed with the quality of the Made in China Craftsman sockets. Uh, like I said, didn't really have too much to complain about prior to me giving them to Dorito, and I hope he gets a whole bunch of use out of them for sure. They had some uh, tin snips or, you know, those tin snips, they come in handy for roofing, and I'm sure that they, they're they called aviation scissors. There's, there's so many different names for them, but they do come in handy. Some storage bins, other tape measures, some cheaper than others, two packs, three packs. They had flashlights. They had all kinds of interesting stuff. The mechanic sets they had, they had in smaller piece sets, like 83 pieces, all the way up to like 127 or something like that. Then, of course, they had the mechanic set. They had uh, some box cutters, air hose. They had hose reels. I'm going through this relatively quick because a lot of you have already seen this stuff. They had stackable totes that kind of reminded me of the Milwaukee. I don't care for these screwdrivers or wrench organizers. They had go bags, so if you wanted to throw some stuff on the fly, you could. Bigger tape measures for construction, smaller tape measures for home use. Uh, just some stocking stuff for idea. The hammer with the uh, demolition claw was pretty cool. Two blades in one, one for plywood, one for actual um, timber itself so if you were getting some two by fours or four by fours it was nice they had both blades i was kind of digging this two-piece hammer and um, you know demo pry tool they had headlamps made from black and decker they had a little scissor you know a little mom kit if you will just something for her to grab easy things for her to fix stuff at the house they had these router bits made by skill skill had some Drill bits, I think they were uh, gold oxide. Those things look pretty nice. I haven't tried the gold oxide yet. I've used the black oxide before. They had speed outs. Speed outs, you guys know about those. If you haven't, I'm sure that somebody's done a video on them. Other forms of like lighting, as far as headlight and flashlight, two in one. They had a multi-tool made by Rockwell. No idea how well or what quality that is. Here's that bigger set uh, that you can get with a two-piece drill impact. Um, basically contractor set, the works. Pegasus bench, which I have, which you guys know that I love and enjoy. I didn't see a price on that, but I'm told that it goes down to 99 bucks. They had Gerber's, they had Speed Squares, more Rockwell. They had Irwin clamps, they had some Craftsman clamps, they had these Craftsman screwdrivers that are pretty much like your plain Jane ones that you remember from back in the day, but I don't know what the quality like is on those screwdrivers specifically. I haven't had any problems with the Pro lineup. And they had some Linux stuff there in the ratcheting screwdriver form. They had just a handful of other Gerber items. Just look, stocking stuffers in general. Again, I'm flying through this and I'm walking through relatively quickly. So if you see something that gravitates your eye or something that stands out to you, feel free to rewind or pause during uh, various segments of this video. But it's just kind of me showing you what's currently on sale down here in the lower desert in Cathedral City, California, and what they had actually on display for Black Friday. Will these sales price drop? Will they bring out other products as well? Or is this pretty much all they're gonna have come Friday? Choice is yours. Don't forget, you can come back and collect the difference if you've purchased the item within less than 15 days. Isn't it starting to feel like Christmas? It is to me. We're in mid-November and here we are getting close to the end of November and Thanksgiving and they already got the trees out. Loving the pretty colors. Kind of expensive for a fake tree with lights on it if you ask me. 
I prefer a real tree. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Lowe's. Jumping back over here to some Christmas decor. So if you wanted to decorate the inside or outside up of your house, they did have a whole bunch of different decor options, okay? I was digging the Coca-Cola bears and some of the other deers and painted trees that they had. It looked like it had snow on it. So if you live in the desert and you don't see snow, it might be kind of nice to have fake snow. <laughs> they had other things too, but we don't need to pursue Christmassy items at this point. Here's that pro screwdriver set that I picked up. I use it here at the house and I have a couple of them at work that I enjoy. They had some smaller on the go sets that you can toss into a little bag at the back of your car which I think are great especially for like your kid. If you've got a teenage boy that's just barely starting to get into automotive or he likes tinkering on his own car, look even the cobalt sets, 100 bucks, I mean drivers, drills, 100 bucks. You can get a whole bunch of good cobalt stuff and craftsman stuff and now some Dewalt stuff for a hundred bucks on Black Friday. Some really killer deals. Huge, huge bit sets. So if you're breaking bits, twisting bits, or you just don't have enough bits, whether they're short or long, they had bits for days. Contractor kits for craftsmen. You guys ought to let me know what you think about the quality of them. And if you think they're worth buying or if you should go with Dewalt, Ryobi, or Rigid, or Milwaukee, or Makita. I know that everyone has a personal preference, but I'm sure that there are some craftsmen lovers out there that are interested in the kits and how much they cost. So that's why we're covering it. Bosch coming out with their new hex driver style, kind of quick release system. Curiosity, saw it on display. Not sure that uh, it'd be something that I would dive on into, but those of you guys out there that are digging some Bosch, went ahead and filmed some of it for you so you can check it out. They did have a two-piece kit in a small form, kind of like the little 12-volt option that Milwaukee gives you. They had this hole saw. This is kind of cool. You can actually pull these out individually and cut it down to the size that you want. So that was actually kind of cool, little interchangeable bit there. Then they had uh, some of these multi-tool attachments. They had some stud finders, things like that. I don't know if this is a sick deal, but I think it's $100 cheaper than uh, what it normally is as far as the table saw goes or the workhorse saw, job site saw. I thought it was a little bit cheaper um, today than it was well, a month ago when we last checked it out. Three-piece go bag, some contracting tools. Here's some other stuff they had on display for sales they had. So if you were looking for options, corded or cordless, they had them. Sorry for the wind noise. We have a sandstorm going on here in the desert currently, and actually we have a wind advisory. Uh, and at 6.30 p.m. we're supposed to actually lose pretty much, there's supposed to be zero visibility on the road. So. I'm glad I made it home before it got too, too bad, but yeah, it was pretty gnarly today. Even a trash can hit my car and somebody else hit my car at work. It's just been a car smashing day for the poor princess wagon. But there's your craftsman options. Lots more stuff they're putting on display and adding to their lineup. So what once was small has now begotten a pretty big size, sizable uh, selection. Jumping over here, brushless now with the Cobalt 24 volt max. Not sure uh, what the quality is. Never really had an eye for cobalt. Loved the color. Just lived too far away to go with cobalt. Ended up switching from Dewalt to Rigid. Never really looked back. Have added a few Milwaukee, Ryobi, and Makita things. But overall, pretty happy. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for our video today. Look, there are some sales going on right now. You've clearly seen that in the video. And... Uh, you know, I don't know if these prices are going to drop again on Black Friday itself. They very well could. But again, you always have that option. At least they've always given it to me as far as if I bought an, it, bought an item within a 15-day grace period, I can go back. They will reimburse or refund me the difference back onto my card in cash or however I paid. So that's always an option for you. So if you are shopping prematurely to Black Friday, it's something to think about. So you don't have to feel stressed about being in lines and people fist fighting over an extra $25 off on something or the last TV. <laughs> Guys, I think it's like that with most stores. If you're cool, they're pretty cool and they'll usually work with you on it. So that's pretty much all that I got for this video. Look, I hope you guys are enjoying your work week. I hope you have preparations made for Thanksgiving. If I don't see you again before Thanksgiving, this is me wishing you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. Hope you get to share it with your loved ones and you enjoy your holiday weekend. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.